Clarence Thomas was born June 23, 1948 in the Pinpoint community outside Savannah, Georgia. It originated as a settlement of freed slaves in the late 1800s. His father abandoned the family when he was two and his mother could not afford to raise him and his two siblings. She sent them to their grandfather after a fire destroyed their home. Thomas's grandfather, Myers Anderson, was a Catholic business owner. He was also a disciplinarian and instilled the importance of hard work and education in his grandkids. This put Thomas on a path to become a priest. He excelled academically but was confronted with racism from his white classmates well into his college years at the Immaculate Conception Seminary. Clarence Thomas later enrolled in the College of the Holy Cross. He participated in the Civil Rights Movement, started a black student union, and adhered to the politics of black nationalism, embodied by the likes of Malcolm X and the Black Power Movement. That is, to create institutions separate from white people to build black self-sufficiency and agency. To him, this meant rejecting social welfare and anti-discrimination programs like affirmative action. He saw this as an attempt to assimilate into white society. But Thomas's path is full of contradictions. He was admitted to Yale Law School through its affirmative action program, and he was against interracial marriage, but only up until he married his second wife, Virginia Lamp, a conservative white woman. After the end of the civil rights movement, some kept fighting, others became disillusioned with the struggle and turned to apathy. Clarence Thomas learned a different lesson. He determined that the struggle painted black people as helpless and dependent on government support and white people. This caught the attention of white conservatives, who recruited him into their plans to undo the gains of the civil rights era. Under the Reagan administration, he had high-profile roles as Assistant Secretary of Civil Rights in the Department of Education and later as Chairman of the U.S. Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. Both of them were roles set up to mitigate systemic discrimination in education and jobs. Instead, he presided over individual cases of discrimination and deprioritized class action cases. When Supreme Court Justice Thurgood Marshall retired in 1991, President Bush selected Thomas as his pick to fill the seat. The confirmation hearings for Clarence Thomas were marked by a sexual misconduct allegation by Anita Hill, a former EEOC employee. Despite the controversy, he was confirmed. In Thomas's time on the court, he's been the most conservative. He consistently challenges cases that involve freedom of speech and was in favor of religious events being held in public schools. Though quiet on the bench, he's written over 700 opinions. His views have shaped today's conservative wing of the court, leading to the reversal of Roe v. Wade, allowing relaxed gun carrying laws, and giving corporations rights as people. Many fear that the future holds further reversals of other anti-discrimination and federal protection rulings.